good afternoon from the Atlantic seaboard. Uh, I'm back at it again. I just uh, put the padlock on the trailer here at my customer. This is gonna be another LTL reefer freight vlog. Today is Saturday. This load finals Wednesday, five days from now, back in Minnesota. I have a total of six stops. Three in Illinois, one in Iowa, and two in Minnesota. So why don't you come along with me as I make this LTL reefer drops. Well, before I leave the customer here, I forgot to tell you, the first drop is Monday morning at 7 a.m. in the Chicagoland area. Um, it's only like 855 miles away from where I currently am. Um, it's three o'clock right now on Saturday, well, like 3.05, I have plenty of time to get there. Um, and it is a non-toll route. I don't pay, I do my best not to pay toll roads. Um, I might be able to shave a little bit of time off if I took the toll road through like Pennsylvania and Ohio and stuff like that, but I don't like spending the money, to be honest with you. So yeah, I'm gonna get trailer trucking. I'll pick the camera up when I can. Good evening from Hagerstown, Maryland. I just stopped at this pilot to take a shower. Um, it's like 7 p.m. Uh, and I typically take showers like where I buy fuel, which is Love's, TA, and Petrol. So I don't pay for the showers that I take. Uh, but I had to pay for a shower here. And is it just me? Like showers have gone way up in price. It was $17 to take a shower. I mean, that, that's outrageous. Um, 17 bucks for a shower, like, I, I don't know, man. It's like highway robbery out here, but I'm gonna get back on the road now. So yeah, let me know in the comments. I, I mean, it's been a long time. I think I used to pay like $14 for a shower, not 17. I mean, even scale tickets have gone up. I mean, just ridiculous, but I'm gonna quit talking and get back on the road. So I just stopped here at a Love's. I'm gonna get out and look at my truck because I had something happen to me that I haven't experienced in my 23 years of driving. I just hit a deer um, and I had a bunch of body work, new bumper, new grill and everything done to my truck not that long ago because somebody had backed into me. So I wanna get out and look and see if there's any damage to the truck. Um, however, I am glad that I am the one that hit the deer. Um, I'm on Highway 68, and which, you know, is kind of a mountain pass road, you know, highway. Um, and it, we were coming around a corner and a deer ran out. And I saw it in enough time, so I was able to slow down a little bit. I was going like 60 miles an hour. But it would have really messed up a car and probably caused a big accident. Um, but my training kicked in. I, I've always been trained for as a driver to not make an invasive maneuver have the animal make the invasive maneuver well the animal just stopped in the middle of the road and looked up at me and boom i hit him so i'm gonna get out and take a look and see what kind of damage is done why don't you come with me so here's the damage it did right here it does look like it bent my bumper in a little bit and then I have all the blood and hair on the tires here, a little bit there, but everything else looks fine. Well, good morning, it's absolutely freezing. I got the truck running, just got done with my free trip. Um, it's currently like 15 degrees where I am. Uh, I still have 500 miles to go today to reach my destination in the Chicagoland area for my 
7 a.m. appointment on Monday. Um, I still have like 45 minutes before I can leave uh, the truck stop here before I get my 10 hours off. So I'm gonna jump in the truck and eat some breakfast and then get trailer trucking. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints. Well, good morning, it's 6.15 a.m. I am at my first receiver of three today in the Chicagoland area. Um, if you remember right, this load has a total of six stops. Three in Illinois, one in Iowa, and two in Minnesota. Um, my appointment here isn't until seven o'clock. However, I checked in early, got a dock. They're unloading me right now. This is also the biggest stop out of the seven stops. This has 10 pallets. Um, yeah, I've delivered here many times. It should be a pretty quick process. Um, the only downside with this place, if there's any damaged product on the trailer, they don't accept it. Um, so we'll wait and see what happens after I get unloaded. There might be some damaged product on the trailer, who knows. But um, that's the only downside with this place is they don't accept mm -hmm. like any people honking at people. They don't accept any boxes that are torn or ripped. Um, but yeah, should be an easy day today. Stay tuned. Well, it's 6.55 a.m. I am already unloaded here at the first delivery. Uh, now I'm just gonna run over my second delivery. That's not until 11 o'clock this morning, but I've delivered there before as well, and I know if I show up, they'll just unload me. So, yeah, so far everything's been great. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants you better go My second delivery today it's currently 8 30 a.m um i only have one pallet coming here my appointment isn't until 11 but they opened the garage doors and let me back down into the loading dock area um you have to actually back in from the street through like they open a garage door you back into their garage and their loading docks are in the garage um kind of a tight backing scenario here in um chicagoland area but uh it was fine I've been here before so I knew what to expect uh, but after this I have another appointment that's scheduled at 1 p.m. but I'm just gonna head straight over there after this the downside is I probably won't get unloaded as quickly because that is like a kind of a bigger distribution center um, but yeah so far so good coming back to the Chicagoland area Slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness if you
you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks, this and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past. And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness, hilarious. You think you're worth my time, you're delirious, mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior, inferior. You know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words, you can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains at last, and to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah. Now that I've been put through, through I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement well, it's 3.30 p.m. I am finally backed into a dock at the third receiver for today. I showed up here at like 10.30 this morning and they kicked me out and said I couldn't stay here. Um, super tight backing area. It is a grocery warehouse and all of their like day cabs are hooking up to all the loaded trailers. So you gotta freaking wiggle around then I had to pull forward and come in kind of at a different angle because you can't swing uh, this setup just is bad they should have all the outbound trailers that their employees are hooking up to on the other side um, there's no reason for this nobody can get into their docks here but I'm checked in I'm backed in a dock hopefully they get me out of here soon because after this, I have like a five and a half hour drive, but I only have two hours left on my clock. So yeah, stay tuned. Well, good morning. It's 1.35 a.m. I'm still freaking exhausted, but uh, I just got done doing my pre-trip, fired the truck up. Um, I still have 285 miles to go before I reach my next destination of uh, Sheraton. Ohio, or Ohio, Sheraton, Iowa, um, I ended up running out of hours last night, like my 70 hours, after I got unloaded, um, I didn't film anything leaving there, because I was a little bit pissed off, um, I left there about 5.30 p.m., so I was there three hours, um, it took them, my appointment was actually at three o'clock, so it took them two and a half hours to unload me, and get my bills back, but it was like four pallets, three pallets. It shouldn't take that long, but it was a big grocery warehouse. Um, the last three stops, I still have one stop in Iowa, that's today, and then I have two stops tomorrow, Wednesday, in Minnesota. All the, I'm going to a high V distribution center that's very fast to unload, and then my last two stops are like small places, so they're very quick to unload too. But, um, yeah, I'm waiting. I need about another 15, 20 minutes before I get some hours back and can get on the road. So, just letting the truck warm up. Like I said, I'm still freaking tired, man. I drove. I left there at 5.30. I parked here at this Petro in Rochelle, Illinois at, it was like a little bit after 7 o'clock last night. Um. I haven't been sleeping well lately, now that you care, <laughs> but yeah, I haven't been sleeping very well lately, I don't know, I don't know if I'm drinking too much caffeine or what, um, I'm trying to get out every night and walk around, I actually do that multiple times a day, like usually every four hours I'll stop if I'm driving or if I'm at like a receiver or shipper and just get out and walk for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, stretch. I did that again last night to try and kind of wind down. But to be honest, like my mind's constantly racing. Like I'm constantly thinking about crap right now. And I, as I think you should if you're a business owner with the market and everything 
you know. Um, I'm always trying to find, come up with ideas on what lanes to run, how to get better fuel economy, how to purchase fuel the right way, like, you know, that all makes a difference. You know, planning ahead on where my fuel stops are going to be. But something's like kind of affecting me because I'm not sleeping well at all. Um, I didn't drink any coffee yesterday because I thought maybe it was drink. I was drinking too much coffee. Yeah, I don't know. Now I'm just rambling because I'm tired and it's 1.37 in the morning. So I'll get back with y'all later. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it rep. Well, I made it to a rest area here west of Iowa City. Um, I still got quite like two hours and 45 minutes before I reach my destination. It's only 4.30 right now, but I'm really, really tired. Uh, I'm doing like the head bob and kind of like the staring, just blank stare. Uh, if you're new to trucking and you're driving and that's how you're driving, just pull over, pull over, take a nap, get out, stretch, do something. Don't keep driving that way. Um, so I preach safety a lot and being aware of what you're doing as you're driving. So I'm taking my advice right now and just going to chill for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna. I'm still going to be super early right now. I think it says I'll be like two hours early for my appointment. So I'm just going to pull over right now and take a nap. Yeah, appointments at nine, right? Yep. And they're going pretty fast. Are they? Yes. Good. I come prepared. <laughs> So I'm here at the High V uh, Distribution Center in Sheraton, Iowa. Um, I checked in at the security desk or the security office, and now I need to go check in at the actual shipping and receiving office. Uh, about 40 minutes early for my appointment, uh, the security guard told me they're actually moving pretty fast today. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I get out of here quick. I wish more DCs were like this. Look at the driver's lounge here at High V. You got one TV there. You got a TV there. 
the bathrooms we can actually use and they're clean. And then look at this. They have a shower room. I think I might pass on the shower, but it's a nice little shower room. Man, this high V driver's lounge is great. I wish more DCs were like this. Like I said, I would probably pass on taking a shower. I mean, I do have my flip flops, but it was kind of dirty. But the rest of this area, man, is so nice. They got nice comf comfy chairs to sit in, free coffee. Um, I already got my bills back. Um, it's nine, what does that clock say? 9 11 a.m so i'm gonna get back on the road now this is gonna finish the vlog or finish today's deliveries i only had one delivery today i have two deliveries tomorrow back in my home state of minnesota so yeah stay tuned because i've been living life right like i could just die any minute don't pull right down the side pch got your limit I don't need a guide, follow lights, take me where I wanna visit Are you alive? I'll just breathe it Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute Don't pull right down the side, PCH, cut your limit I don't need a guide, follow Well, good evening from the Petro in Albert Lee, Minnesota um, I stopped here around noon this afternoon after my stop in Iowa um, I had a buddy trucking through Minnesota and we decided to meet up and have lunch and reminisce about the old days. Uh, we don't see each other very much, um, but when we do, we always try and like get lunch bullshit. Like I said, reminisce about the old days. So Mike, if you're watching this, it was nice seeing you, brother. Hope everything's good, drive safe, have a good Thanksgiving back in Pennsylvania. Um, but yeah, I don't deliver until tomorrow morning at six o'clock in the morning. I'm about an hour and a half away from where I deliver. So what I think I'm going to do is take maybe another hour or two off and then truck to the receiver and spend the night at the receiver um, so I can just wake up and deliver and then get to my last delivery in uh, Roseville, Minnesota and then get home for Thanksgiving for Turkey Day. So yeah, I'll get back with you all here in a while. Well, good evening. It is 10.15 p.m. I am backed into a dock at my receiver. Um, now I don't deliver until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, but they said just go ahead and back into a dock right now. Uh, that way when the freezer guys show up in the morning, all you have to do is open your doors and they'll unload you. I believe I have two pallets coming here um, and I have two stops tomorrow. I have this one that I'm currently at and then one more in Roseville, Minnesota, which isn't, it's like 10 miles, 12 miles away from where I currently am. Um, so yeah, another easy trip. It all should final tomorrow by, I bet I'm done by 11 o'clock at the latest. Um, this appointment's at 6 a.m. The other appointment's at 9 a.m. But I know the minute I'm unloaded here and get to the other appointment, they'll just unload me. So yeah, I'm gonna climb in the bunk now and go to sleep for a while. Well, good morning at 6.05 a.m. I'm currently backed into the dock getting unloaded i think there's only like two pallets here in minnesota man it's a cold morning in minnesota and yes i'm wearing the same sweatshirt that i had on yesterday because i've been on the road for 10 days now and all my sweatshirts are dirty and this is the cleanest one um but yeah funny little story real quick about this customer that i'm at i always deal with the two same guys when i'm checking in it's either this asian dude or this hispanic guy and the, they both mess with me. Every time I show up here, they always tell me they don't want the product, that they're refusing the load, that they have no room in their freezer. And um, they know that this load generates in the Atlantic seaboard. So it's like 1300 miles away from here. Um, but this morning <laughs> I walk in and the Hispanic dude looks at me and just throws his key down the forklift and says, I can't unload you, forklift broken. <laughs> Matter of fact, he's coming to the truck right now. Morning. Morning. You're already done, huh? Yeah, yeah. that one at yours. Oh. You signed me that one to put the day in there. Okay. You got two pallets, no one. Oh, it's two pallets? Yeah. I'm sorry, amigo. <laughs> Today, what, the 29th, right? 23. 23, oh yeah. <coughs> I'm in the future. Thank you. All right, thank you, see you later. Yeah, have a great day.
right there. Yeah. Well, there you kind of got to witness the guy. Um, that one of the yellow one. They like one the pink one. The pink one is mine. That one is yours. This is pink. It's pink. Yeah. This is yellow. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> That's all right. yeah. See you later. All right, you saw a little bit. That was that was the Hispanic dude. Uh, what a what a great guy. What a great guy. He's so funny. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for more content as I start driving down the road to my next appointment. <clears throat> I wake up every minute with a fever dream. I push my mind to a limit where it needs to be. I work like I got vision I don't need to see. I'm picking mind over matter. I believe in me. I need to find more hours in the day to breathe. Need to find more power in the way I be. And when my mind turns out with the painful scenes, I need to scream out loud. I can't stop me. I want to be the greatest like Rocky. You know I leave them all hating like a hobby. I'm out here making moves like a lobby. And if you ain't with me, it's your loss. I got my mind on the facts. I'm a python. Grab what I like real fast. Took it till I have everything I attack. Everything that I lack. Everything that I want. And I see matter of fact. Cause I'm my own worst enemy. Only if I let it be. Well, I'm done. As you saw in the previous clip, the trailer is empty. I just got done cleaning out the trailer. It's 8.45 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Um, they took me early. My appointment wasn't until 9 o'clock. Um, so, yeah, it's Wednesday. This load started at like 3 p.m. on Saturday and ended today at 8.45 a.m. It was a total of 1,510 miles with six stops, three in the Chicagoland area, one in Iowa, and two here in Minnesota. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this long LTL reefer freight vlog. I get it, I know it's been a long time, but uh, or a long video, but it's over now. So I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. And until next time, you know what it is. Keep on trucking.